Well, Jorge, let's uh, start because uh, your last name, I think people have a difficult difficulty understanding, and I'm not even sure I've got it straight, but uh, it's a hyphenated name here, but a full name in Puerto Rico. Is that accurate? Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be Perez, Laham, two different names. Uh, Perez is my dad's last name, and Laham is my mom's last name. So that's how they do it in, in Spanish countries, I guess. And uh, when I got here, you know, they only use one last name. So I kind of, I didn't want to lose that Laham, you know, from my mom's side. So I kind of put them together. And I, ever since I got here, I've been using them together. Now, I've been saying all year, I've been saying Perez Laham. Am I mispronouncing it? No. No, I, th- I think that's fine. A lot of people say it different, you know, different ways. So I don't really care. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But you come from Puerto Rico, and we see that on the the website, you know, the listing and all that kind of stuff. But it's a longer story than that. Would you mind kind of going through how you go from Puerto Rico to Liberty, Missouri? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so, yeah, it's kind of a long story, man. Um, it all started, uh, one of my coaches back home knew a coach in Miami, uh, South Miami High School. And uh, they kind of needed a point guard, you know, and, and he offered. He's like, look, I have a point guard from Puerto Rico. It's pretty good. Uh, just take a look. So he, they flew me down to Miami, and they saw me play. And they wanted me really bad, but that was my junior year of high school, before my junior year. But they didn't have the, the you know, the <clears throat> the money to, like, get me there and stuff. So I still played my junior year in Puerto Rico. And for, uh, before my senior year, they called me, and they're like, look, like, we really want you to come. We have the team. We just don't have the point guard. So um, they did everything. They, make, they made everything happen. You know, they, they got me there to uh, Miami for my last year of high school. So let me interrupt and ask you then, so you were recruited in high school to play at a high school in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I, I got to Miami for my senior year. Um, it was kind of like a, you know, the new kid from Puerto Rico. Everybody was like, okay, who is this kid? You know, everybody was excited to see me play. And uh, so, yeah, I had a pretty good year, man. Uh, we, we went to the state championship, didn't win, but, you know, we got second place, which is not bad in the state of Florida. 8A, which is the largest, like, school districts. And, yeah, after that, I started playing AAU and, and got a lot of uh, different looks from different uh, universities, different, a lot. Like, I got probably, I think it was a lot of D2s and, like, uh, I got to the point where I had 15 D1 offers, uh, like, at one point, you know, so. And so you pick High Point to North Carolina, right? But at some point, Jimmy Williams, our assistant coach, comes into the picture. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, Jimmy Williams, he he offered me, uh, he was, like, probably the, one of the first scholarships I had. He was at... Uh, North Greenville University at the time in South Carolina, and uh, me and him became close, you know, in the recruiting process. I really, you know, I really liked him. It was really nice to me. I was new to the United States. I didn't know the, the whole process, you know, so he, he kind of, like, he helped me through it, and he would we would talk about other stuff, too, you know. It wasn't just basketball, and um, so I ended up not going. To, he was a D2, you know. I wanted to go play Division One, which I, you know, I ended up signing. But after I signed, uh, we still kept contact, you know. He he would watch me play on TV, and he would send me videos of me. And, I, and you know, like, that meant a lot to me, you know. So, so yeah, but, you know, like, we always kept contact throughout this, uh, this my first three years of college. Or, hey, Perez Laham is our guest here uh, at halftime. And so you're at uh, High Point in North Carolina, D1 school. And as you said, and I heard you talking last night, uh, Coach Williams saw you playing against Georgetown, and I know you got a chance to play against some other big schools. Can you talk about that real quick and what that experience was like? Oh yeah, um, yeah, I got man. I, so my freshman year, I played uh, Georgetown. I played against Syracuse University when they were ranked number two. When they had Tyler Ennis, uh, CJ Fair, uh, Christmas, all those guys, you know, they were really good. So I got to play them, uh, and then I got to play uh, Arkansas. I got to play. Um, who I got I got to play a lot of big schools, man. Like you know, it's, it was a Texas Tech, uh, a lot of good Ohio State when they had D'Angelo Russell. Like you know, we played a lot of people, and it was a great experience for me. Like you know, I can I can never forget that. It was just a great experience, you know. And yeah. Well, then uh, tell me, and this is probably a hard question to answer, but you you're you're playing a Division One. You decide to come to Jewel. Can you talk about that a little bit? Why come to Jewel? Uh, so yes, um, the main thing for me was uh, Coach Williams. That was my biggest, uh, 
my biggest thing when making the decision. And I was having, I wasn't having bad time at, at high point. Like you know, I was, I was getting playing time, and and I was, you know, I liked the people there and everything. But I think I just wanted a bigger role. You know, my role was very limited to, uh, you know, to being the, a true point guard and feeding people, and, and and you know, and that's not what I needed for uh, to, uh, for the next step of my career. You know, which is play pro, be a professional basketball player. So, yeah, I think like that's the main reason why I left. You know. I want to talk about your potential pro career here in a moment, but first, uh, early in the season, your mom and your siblings came up to Liberty, and someone told me that was the first time they'd seen you play in college. Is that accurate again? First time in person, yes. Yeah, my mom, she's she's uh, she played basketball too. You know, she she played professional basketball. She played for the national team, in Puerto Rico. So she she knows the game, but she never had the opportunity to come. But this year, you know, she took that risk because it's my last year and she really wanted to see, uh, watch me play before I graduate. Uh, and uh, tell me a little bit about your siblings, too. You had, I think, three here that night. Was that, again, right? Uh, I have my little sister and my little brother here. Um, I still got one more uh, older brother. He's 26. And, yeah, so. And also, I think on our Florida trip, your dad got a chance to see you play, too. Uh, he, and he lives on the East Coast somewhere? Yeah, he he lives in uh, Massachusetts. He actually came down to the last weekend when we played uh, Parkside and Lewis. He he was here. He's uh he's great, man. Like he he really supports me. You know, he's always there for me for anything I need. And yeah. Jorge Perez Laham is our guest here, and uh, we talked about your pro career, and you were telling me before we actually got the uh, tape rolling here, uh, the draft in Puerto Rico is coming up, and just like in the States, you're allowed to talk to agents, not sign with them, but talk to them, and you're anticipating perhaps being drafted in Puerto Rico. Tell me about that and, and what you want to do in the future. So right now I'm looking at the draft, which is February 22nd. And, uh, yeah, I think I was just talking to a few people, and I have a chance to be, you know, drafted in the first two rounds, maybe first, maybe second. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it's exciting, man. Like, this has been my, my dream, you know, growing up to play professional basketball. And now that the opportunity is around the corner, I'm just excited. You know, I can't wait. What is the league like down there? Oh, it's really good. It's really competitive. A lot of the guys that, uh, like, People that come from the states to play there are ex NBA players, uh, big time like overseas players. You know, like it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough down there. Your point guard responsibilities have you uh, handling the ball a lot, playing a lot of defense. So, uh, what, what, what do you enjoy best about basketball? What's the thing that really turns you on? Uh, basketball. Basketball is like it's, it's everything to me. Like I, I love the game of basketball. You know, I love. Uh, I love my job which is like running the team you know passing the ball i love passing the ball you know assists i love making an assist as much as i love make, uh, making a basket you know like that for me like it it makes me happy to do either or and uh and running the team you know being the guy that like calls the plays and and get the guys together you know like i love that that's, that's the best role possible for me <laughs> There are so many things, for hey, I want to talk to you about, but this season kind of got off to a slow start with you with the injuries, and, and we've had a slow start overall as a team, trying to come together here a little bit. And, and what keeps you fighting through all of that? What keeps you uh, playing hard even with those injuries? And, and last week you were sick to death. I mean, you were in bed all day. <laughs> yeah, um, I think the people, one of the main things is that, like, Coach Holly and Coach Williams, they're great people and great coaches, and they motivate us to, like, you know, even if we're struggling to just keep going, regardless of the of the situation and everything, and uh, and also you know the love for the game also keep me keep me uh keep me working hard. You know, the I want to play being a, I want to be a professional player, so you know I gotta work harder than everybody else, and I keep I gotta keep that in mind regardless of if, if I'm injured, sick or whatever. You know, I gotta keep going, and uh, and be a great leader for my team. Final question here, Jorge. Uh, at some point, your basketball career will end, whether it's age or whatever. What do you want to do then? What's uh, w what do you want to do? Um, I think I wanna I wanna have uh, some kind of business or something. You know, I'm about to graduate on a business administration, so kind of had that in mind this whole time that I want to have my own business at some point in time. You know, so it's a matter of when. You know, so. 
Well, let's uh, hope you can take care of business here these final few games, and uh, good luck with the draft. And, again, I uh, wish we had you more for one year. It's been a short year in a lot of ways. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. That's Jorge Perez-Laham, and we're back with more after this. <laughs> 